When you see the rich people in the world, the billionaires, you have a number of them from Asia and the most are coming from Europe, no, from America. America are the most, and then you have uh, more billionaires uh, uh, in Asia and a little bit in Europe, okay? Africa doesn't exist. Okay, now when you go to the category of black billionaires, you have the first African who is billionaire is Aliko Dangote from Nigeria. You have some Nigerians, you have some South African, you have Egypt, you have Zimbabwe. I mean, you don't have many, but there are a number. But that's when you go to the black community. The black community is poor. We are not strong. Econ economically, we are not strong. That's one of the reasons why we have no respect. I'm not sure that white people really love, like, loving Asian or Arab. Okay, Arabic people, I'm not sure. The thing that is respect, we don't ask people to be loved. That's what we need to understand. It's not about being loved. It's about being respected by other people. And black people, we are not respected. Why? Because we are poor and we are financially poor and we have poor mentality. You look in Africa, you look in America, black people have poor mentality. What is the poor mentality? One, an example. When a black person in a neighborhood, for example, or a black person that, you know, a black person, who aspire to go higher in his life, okay? Maybe he has dream, he's goal-oriented. He wants to do certain things that are not known in the community. He starts to get to, he's really into good manner. He's well-mannered. He's articulate and eloquent. He speaks in a certain way. The other blacks say, oh, who do you think you are? The other black, yeah? or they will say, he want to be like a white person. You see how small the mentality is. So for these people, the other black, who see their brothers, for example, who want to really uh, upgrade their lives, you know, see something better. So for the black, Doing better, living better, being clean, being well-mannered, having dreams, having, you know, fine habits, being elegant, maybe, for them is to imitate the white people. How poor mentality it is. So it means that for you as a black person, you don't see that there are things good nothing good comes from us do you see what i mean it's like you see yourself so low that even if when someone want to do something good is accused of being of imitating white people or who do you think you are so what happened that black person has no other choice than leaving the neighborhood and go where white people are Because what? The crab. You know, crab mentality. Crab mentality, what does that mean? Crab. You know crab? In fact, we call crab. When the crab want to climb, what happened? The other one pulled down. It is known in black community. Africa, in America, black people do the same thing. They don't like to see a black person who is going who gonna go higher, who rise, who climb. They don't want they don't like it. You have to be like everyone. When you do better, no, 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 no. You want to be like a white person. He's a, he's a sellout. See how poor mentality it is. Poor. The other poor mentality is when you have black people, like I say earlier, making fun of black Africans, for example, and saying that, oh, <laughs> there is nothing there. <laughs> and all this, you see how poor and ignorant, okay, or those who say, why do you compare me to African? I don't look like them. 
poor mentality. Because, yeah, your phenotype is Negroid. It's African phenotypes. Because, well, when you're black, the first thing people will see, the first thing that a white person will think about is African. If I put you in the middle of a place in Asia, the, Asia, the Asian man will not think that, where is he coming from? No, he will think about Africa first, unless he hears you talking and he hears the American accent, for example, and then you show your passport. But up to them, no, he will think that you're African. You see how poor mentality it is. They take some camera, they take their phone, and they probably say, do not compare me to. And the white person is looking at you, it's like, wow. Wow. Poor mentality. Other example of poor mentality, black Africans especially, like it's us. When you go to apartments, it's known. It's not, it's not new. This is not the new scoop I'm saying here. It's not breaking news. It is new. It's not a scoop. Okay. Usually, black African, we are known to destroy stuff. I'm talking for fact. For fact. I saw it myself. When people were talking to me about that, I was like, no, you are doing too much. It's not true. But later on, I realized, no, nah, it's true. We break stuff. We don't keep the stuff around clean. Apartments, that why people usually, you go to um, places, some apartments, you look, the places are broken. Hands everywhere on the wall. Messed up everywhere. As the owner, if I'm white, I see one, two, three, four tenants are African and do the same thing. Yeah. There is a problem. I cannot get you to rent my apartment anymore. You break my stuff, you don't keep it. It is known. It is known. Black African, you don't take care of stuff properly. We don't take care of stuff properly. It is known. We break stuff. So when an African is probably clean, the other ones say, oh, you think you are white? So for them being clean, for them being clean, for them being clean, is being white, what a poor mentality. There is a lot to do here. 